Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, tasting rare and exotic whiskey. At the moment, I'm doing a series here from Berry Brothers and Rudd from their perspective series number one. I have tasted the 21 year old. Today, I'm going to taste the 25 year old. And then um, the next will be the 35 year old. Yay! So, um, every single of these bottles are basically a combination of the art of whiskey making, they say, and the art of photography. And every single bottle actually has a picture in it, a photograph. It's actually on the, um, the bottle as well as here on this. And to make it really look good, they sent a picture. This is all here from this guy. His name is Lindsay Robert. And he tells a tiny little story of how he did this. So this picture here is from Sky. So the 21-year-old um, costs about 95 euros. The 25-year-old is about 118 euros. Um, there was 6,300 bottles of, the, of these produced and only 3,200 of these. Whiskey base 128071, 128072. Hmm. And they're all both at 43%, and they were all, all both um, bottled, or all three of them, in um, 2009. So they've been basically sitting on the shelves for two years now. So um, I'm going to pour this, and I'm going to pour that, and do a little bit of a comparison. To be very, very honest, the 21 was a bit of a, a disappointment. And the 25 is um, a little bit of a surprise because of the color. I would expect a whiskey to be actually much, much darker um, the longer it is in the cask. But as you can see here, this, at least for these two bottlings, is not the case. The 25-year-old is much lighter than the 21-year-old, and the 21-year-old was not very light. That tells me two things. Number one, um, they're not using color. If they were actually adding um, coloring, they would have had this identical. You can take basically um, 20 different bottles of Johnny Walker and they're all going to be exactly the same color on the spot. Here we have different color, no coloring added. Yay. Thank you, Barry Brothers and Rudd. Put that on the label. Put that on the, on the, on the, on the um, can here. That would be very, very much appreciated. And they're 43% both, so they probably have been chill filtered. These are blended malts. Uh, blend, sorry, blended scotch, which means they actually have grain whiskey and also um, malt whiskey blended together from different distilleries in here. The youngest whiskey in this is 21. It can be older stuff in there. And the youngest whiskey here is 25. And the second thing this tells me was that these casks for the 25-year-olds were even less active in at least giving up some of their color, which is the wood color from the char and from the oak itself, than the um, ones that were used here for the 21-year-old. On the nose, the 25-year-old is much more of a honey bomb. The very first thing I get is if someone would have told me this is a space side blend, I would have went, yeah. So very, very good. Berry Brothers and Rudd, um, perspective series number one, no peat so far. I have no idea what the 35-year-old is. At least my peat alarm has not been set off yet, and I think that is very, very good. For 120 euros and 25 years, this is something you could think about buying. For 21 years old and 95 euros, I'm not really sure. I would, I would not recommend this. Not from the taste and not from the vibes I, vibes I got from it. A lot of honey, a little bit of plum, tiny little bit of oak. This is very, very nice. I'm surprised. If I go over here to Whiskey Base, I have three people that have put votes on this. There's 3,220, I'm sorry, I can't even read my handwriting here. 3,220 uh, bottles of this out there. And they're in all these different shops. They're in German shops, they're in Polish shops, they're in British shops, they're in Scottish shops, they're in Netherlands shops. It seems to be a European exclusive, but they're just not moving. As I mentioned in my video before, the only reason I bought these bottles were I received a letter from a um, shop in the Netherlands. It was like, 30% off. Are you interested? It was like, oh, I think I am interested. And they sold out fairly quickly. And anyone who puts these on sale, watch out for those. I'm sure some people are going to get rid of these um, sooner or later. Just taking up space, just taking up inventory space. And we have to get rid of these sooner or later. Oh, nice nose, nice nose. Cheers.
Mmm. Mmm. There's a tiny little bit of heat at the end. Um, for 43% and 25 years old, more than necessary, but okay. That is acceptable. Here, it was like hot. That was not acceptable. This was a little bit um, towards the end. This is a... Mm, stewed fruits, whatever that means. Um, take a fruit cocktail and ask grandma to put it in her um, um, glass, to glass it to a uh, jar it. Um, to can it. My grandmother always said she canned it. And I was a child and I said, why do you can in glass? Because that's what we do. I said, but it's not a can. She said, but I canned it. It was like, Grandma, it's not a can. She said, you're right, now move on. <laughs> I was like, okay, Grandma. Um, and so especially funny was because my, my grandfather worked at a can producing factory. He was a farmer and so he would actually work the fields, work a shift and come back home and then do another um, little side a job and so he basically had three yard jobs for like 25 30 years the farmer and we're, we're complaining about at least for 40 hour a week sometimes all right good um continental can in franklin pa um i don't even know if they're still there so a little bit of my history as a um <laughs> as the grandson of someone who i think had a very very not an easy life let's just say that all right, um, World War II veteran and so on. I'm proud of him. Okay, um, going back now to the whiskey. <laughs> Sorry for that little bit of a detour there. 25-year-old um, whiskey, a lot of honey in there, a little bit of that plum, a very, very nice whiskey. More active casks, at least in the flavor profile, and at least from the distillery characters that is in here. If I did not know better, I would have said Glen Rothes is in here. I have no idea what's in, what's in here. I do know there's grain. I do know there's malt. But other than that, I know nothing about these whiskeys. Well done. Well done. I'm going to give this a um, C++, B minus minus. I really like this. The value for money, I'm going to give it a C minus, maybe even almost a C. Um, I, can you really taste the 25 years? No, I can't. I'm sorry. Um, blind, I would have went, oh, it might be a 14, 16, maybe an 18-year-old whiskey. I close my eyes when I'm doing things blind, but it's definitely not a 25-year-old. Are you crazy? Now, I've actually had a few 25-year-old whiskeys. I just did a little search on my own channel, and at least in German, and I tried the Aaron 25, didn't like it. I thought it was way too overpriced. I had an independent Macallan 25 from um, um, Mr. Bond's Choice, way too expensive, didn't like that. I had a Deanston 25 from the Whiskey Circle here in Germany, didn't like that. I had a Glen Farkless 25, like that. Um, I had a um, Glen Murray 25 from the Maltman, really like that. I had the Chevis Regal 25, it was pretty good. I had a Glen Dronach um, 1992 that was 25 years old. I think it was one of the best whiskeys I've ever had in my life. The Ben Riach 25 was really nice. The Taliska 25 was a little bit like cardboard. I was not a big fan of it. The, the Bruchladi, uh, the Sherry Cask Edition 1990, 25-year-old, was um, divine juice, but unbelievably expensive. Uh, what did we have? I had an old particular, um, Glen Morey, 25-year-old, interesting, a Wilson & Morgan, Sherry Cast, 25-year-old, and then um, I had a North British, 25-year-old, a Ben Drachen, which is from Lidl over here, 25-year-old, and I actually had a Hirsch Selection, 25-year-old, um, that was a Kentucky um, straight rye whiskey. Uh, so I've had some my fair share of some 25-year-old whiskey, to be honest. And this ranks up there in, in the very, very top. It was not the best, but it's very, very good. I like this a lot. So my question of the day is, what is your favorite 25-year-old whiskey that you've ever had? Have you had something? If not, go out to a bar and say, hey, see that Glenn Fockless, 25-year-old? Let, uh, let me have at least a little dram of it and try it. Um, and it might knock your socks off and it might not. All right? So I can ask a different question if you'd like. What is the oldest whiskey you've tried so far? Um, I've had a 50-year-old grain, I've had a Glen Fockless, which is 40 euros old. I'm not um, bragging as such, but to be very, very honest, 
I've had whiskeys under 18 years old of age that taste even better. So, and I want to emphasize what I'm trying to point out. Age is not a guarantee for good tasting whiskey. Age is often a guarantee for higher prices, but not automatically better tasting. In this case, the 25-year-old is better than the 21-year-old. I'm really looking forward to my 35-year-old. I think this is probably going to be the best. I think this is going to be over-oaked. I have no idea. I have not tried it yet. But I will try it in front of the camera, and you'll see this video as well. All right, one little try back of the 21-year-old. Cleanse my palate. This had a lot more of heat and it had a lot less um, of the uh, fruitiness and the goodness that this has. I'll read the um, bottle tasting notes of both of these and then I'll end my video in a minute. More of a wood bitterness compared to this. This is honey sweetness. This is really good. Okay, it says here, I'm going to Jason the Klutz sometimes. I'm going to read here what it says. Um, fresh, vibrant fruit is undercut by delicate oak and spice gracefully interwoven with vanilla and honey. A lingering finish caps the experience. Yeah, that wood does linger a little bit and it's not the best wood in the world. Over here, the 25-year-old, on the other hand, says, and by the way, they have that gray label compared to the white label, which I thought was interesting. Um, it says here, the nose exudes soft, ripe, autumn, um, autumn, uh, autumnal fruit. I've never heard of the word autumnal. And fresh uh, citrus with waves of honey and prickles of spice. Uh, the palate is full, vicious, is that correct, vicious? Viscous, viscous, okay, very good, English and Jason. Uh, fresh and lively, leading to a long, satisfying finish. A lot of PR um, in there, but yes, the 25-year-old is much better than 21-year-old. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for telling others about this crazy guy over here in Europe tasting whiskey you might not ever see, or might not ever have the chance to try, but hey, I get to have the privilege of doing this, and I'm very, very thankful for that. All right, um, what was your best 25-year-old, or what was the oldest whiskey you've tried so far, and you liked? Thank you very much, like, subscribe, tell others, and all the best. Bye-bye.